I read a lot, mostly non-fiction books about history and politics, but I also like some poetry too. I'm outside the Tate Modern in central London, asking people about reading. Do you read much? I do, yeah. I try to read as much as possible. Yes, I do. I'm a great reader. Yes, I do, yes. Um, mostly non-fiction. Uh, I read a lot of ma fashion magazines. <laughs> uh, yeah, I read a fair bit. Yeah, I read uh, um, a lot of sort of art criticism and things, um, and things like that, but I also um, I read a lot of comic books as well. What was the last book you read? Well, the last book I read was Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen, which was a book recommended to me by some friends. I'd never heard of her or indeed the book, but I enjoyed it very much. It was a story about a circus in the 1930s America. The last book I read was a novel called The Search by a London author called Jeff Dyer. And it's about, it's, it's set in the States. It's about a man who's paid to pursue another person and he travels across the land trying to catch him. Last book I read, Breaking Dawn, part of um, The Twilight Saga by Stephanie Myers. I was rereading it for the third time because I really enjoyed the books. <laughs> they get you quite hooked. <laughs> I read a collection of short stories by Sylvia Plath called Johnny Panic and the Bible of Dreams. Douglas Adams is uh, Dirk Gently's holistic detective agency, um, which was an easy read and it was fun, it was humorous. It was a book I'd, I'd had on my shelf for ages and it just took me years to get around to reading it. What's your favourite book? My favourite book of all time is a book called One Fine Day by Molly P Panterdown, which is a book about... Um, uh, a, a housewife just after the Second World War and it just traces her, her existence in a day of her life. It's terribly mundane. Uh, probably The Killing Joke, which is a Batman graphic novel. Well, one of them is definitely a book by Jean Cocteau called Les Enfants Terribles, which is about uh, two siblings and their kind of twisted relationship. Which fictional character would you most like to be or meet? I'd most like to meet the fictional character uh, John Self from Martin Amis's novel Money, which is the funniest novel I've ever read. I think that would be the Mad Hatter from Alice in Wonderland. Um, just his irrationality, or irrationality to everyone else who looks at him, um, but to him he's completely normal. It's quite an easy one. Batman. I'd love to be Batman. I'd love to meet the Joker. Um, I think I'd like to meet um, Humbert Humbert from Lolita, which is by Nabokov, um, because he's such a complex character and in the book you really empathise with him even though he's got such dark and monstrous desires. Perhaps one of my the people I'd most like to meet would be Mr Darcy from Pride and Prejudice and I suppose by default that means I'd quite like to be Elizabeth Bennet.